there. Uh, the other big controversy this week involved uh, Senator Brent Taylor. You know, he's basically launched a, a one-man crusade with all the legislation he's introduced affecting crime and, and trying to fight crime. And he had uh, responded to a post from Decarcerate Memphis on Facebook. Uh, they actually showed Brent Taylor's home. Uh, and several pictures from inside the home, a $1.8 million home in Eads, Tennessee, and had the line, don't forget that Senator Brent Taylor owns a funeral home and literally profits off violence and death. This is the guy that thinks he knows how to make Memphis matter? Well, it took not very long at all for Senator Taylor to respond to that. Uh, he said the amount of BS someone has to go through to stand up for regular law-abiding people and make our community safe is ridiculous. I'll never stop standing up to the leftist, soft-on-crime, criminal coddlers like Decarcerate Memphis, Just City, and the rest of the equity warriors who are detached from reality. I will work to make Memphis matter and pass strong crime-fighting legislation. So he is not backing down. And these two are <laughs> locking heads, it's fair yeah. to say, Otis. Well, first of all, let's stop the name calling. Yeah. Please, yeah. your state senator, talk about the issue. On the other side, let's not invade people's privacies like this. I mean, come on. Uh, you're showing somebody's house and, mm -hmm. and you have no proof about what you're saying. In fact, we should say, he said, I sold those funeral homes a couple of years ago. Exactly, He's not into exactly. Right. So right. That's, that, that is right. That is the most, that is the least productive part of all of this, yeah. is that name calling right. and, and, the, and the stabbing that's going on here. Let's confine this issue, issue to the issues. Right. And we can have healthy, healthy debates over all of this. But uh, Brett, share some of the blame here too. Because if you look at that and you see all of his name calling the coddlers and the warriors, I mean, uh, none of that is necessary. You are the state senator here. Be above that fray uh, and govern in a, in a responsible, in a, in a professional way. You know, I think the ideal response would have been the emoji with the eyes rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Just do that. Yeah, right. Well, and don't do that. anything else. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, 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 it's clear that this group, Decarcerate Memphis and some others, they absolutely don't have any political sense. They have well, violated yeah. the number one rule of political PR, and that is don't step on your own message. Yeah. And that's what they did by accusing using um, Brent Taylor of making money off of funerals of, crime, of people involved in crime, which is, you know, if you want to take that to another stupid, lo illogical level, then <laughs> who else makes money off of crime in this community? There sure are a lot of inner city funeral homes that make a lot of crime, a lot of money. There sure are a lot of lawyers who make a lot of to money make off of crime. Cop cams. I mean, let's, let's, not <laughs> exactly. just, let's just not pinpoint right. Brent Taylor. I thought that was, that was just ridiculous. It was low. Uh, Brent doesn't make money off of crime by doing the work that he is skilled to do. He is a licensed embalmer. He did sell his funeral homes many years years ago uh, and he you know owns what he owns I do think it is off limits to take family and to take personal living and put it out front to do what they have done I do think that that's really off limits you never know how a person gained what they have it could have been through the loss of a parent it could have been through the loss of a family member and insurance money so you never know that and so it's a sensitive thing but I also think Brett has to show some restraint I think he has to you know and, and it's hard to do because when <laughs> people you know people pick on me publicly mm -hmm. I want to fight back mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so I, I do understand that he did you know fire back at him real quick um, but I do think in, in, in going forward he'll just have to a little bit more restraint. That's it. Well, I'm sorry, but in politics, the best defense is a good offense. Well, the name calling, you guys make a very good point about that, but I, I will say, I think decarcerate Memphis was the loser here because yeah. it hurt their credibility, whereas yeah. with yeah. Pre yeah. Senator Taylor, yeah. that just galvanized the people who love him, oh, and no that's question. why they love right. him so oh, he's a fighter now. That's right. right. Oh, no, 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 of course. Yeah. All right, well, when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, Wanda Halbert. We talk about her nearly every week on the show, and uh, this week will be no different. We'll be right back.